Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, so one thing I did forget to mention last time is that if you would like to see a Malkavian playthrough, for example, I'd highly recommend uh, Gopher's uh, playthrough of the game, uh, which I'll link in the description below. He's quite a fun guy to watch playing, even if he does derp up sometimes, as we all do. Uh, so yeah, go check that out. And I believe we're just going to jump straight into this one now. Uh, my stats are basically where I would like them to be. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention was soak down here, which basically just says how much of this type of damage I can absorb. Uh, bashing is your basics of being hit with things. Uh, lethal is bladed weapons. And aggravated is sort of supernatural, fire, electricity. Basically things that vampires really do not like to be hit with. So, let's go. <laughs> I want to show you something. This game starts as it means to go on, of course. That was an interesting graphical glitch on my neck for a moment there. Not sure what's with the shaky cam during this uh, cutscene. It seems to happen to me every time recently. <laughs> yeah, those uh, bite marks were certainly odd. And the animation there is a lot better than in the original game. My fellow the, kindred, the patches fixed that. My apologies a lot. for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening. It's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. Uh, this guy's going to talk for a while. The one thing you may notice society, was a stake to the heart does not kill you in this game. Well, broken. in this As prince, uh, background, I, I guess, as it were, this cannon. The kindred of this city. The uh, basically just paralyzes. Many of you have come to me seeking permission, and I have endorsed some of these requests. However, the accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. It pains me to announce the sentence, as up to tonight I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. Not sure what's with the slow know walking animation there. I am no more there. adjudicator than I am a servant to the law that governs us all. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere to the code that binds our society, lest we endanger all of our blood. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. In the field of view setting for this. Which leads to the fate of the ill-begotten progeny. Without a sire, most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly, the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that this is bullshit! That has been decided, apparently. You're losing the crowd, guy. If Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish, he never had the crowd. I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. It would have been a pretty short game if you hadn't decided to let me live. I am sympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I thank you all for attending these proceedings. And I hope their significance is not lost. Good evening.
Your sire. Tragic. My apologies. But you see, there is a strict code of conduct that all of us must... must adhere to if we wish to survive. When someone, anyone breaks these laws, they undermine the well Don't look at the walking animations. Don't look at the walking animations. Don't look Understand at the walking animations. <laughs> Uh, you can't tell Allowing see you it. to live makes me directly Look responsible for your I mean, what behavior. what is that? So, what I'm offering is not generosity, but the opportunity to transcend the fate woven by your sire. Apparently, when you become a vampire, you lose the ability this to walk like a normal trial. person. You will be brought Surely to Surely that Monica. must be a masquerade there violation. There, you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. I've shown you great clemency. Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, fledgling. Don't come back until you do. Good evening. So, suffice to say, we're not part of this guy's fan club. Uh, yeah, all the usual keys. Um... Yep. Uh, so we've got third-person view. Can we rotate the camera? Oh no, did not mean to do blood. Wow, that sucked out lots of my blood. <laughs> what a scene, man! Hooey! <laughs> then it is plop you out here like a naked baby in the woods. <laughs> How about that? Ah, look, you know, it's probably a lot for you to take in, so uh, why don't you let me show you the ropes? What do you say? Yes, who I'm are Jack. you? What's important is I'm offering help. You make it back from Santa Monica with your hide, and we'll trade life stories, okay? Till then, I got about this much time. You in or out? Well, I mean, let let's do the the tutorial. Why not? Uh, it's a nice instruction for those of you who haven't seen the game before. All right. Uh, why don't we uh step out back here? Yeah, I prefer not to be in the theater. Bad things were happening. Christ, it's stuffy in there, huh? This is much better. Now, we ain't got much time, but I figure somebody should fill you in on the bare bones stuff at least, you know. Could save your hide. You look wobbly. You even had a drink yet? Well, I may have had a scotch earlier. <laughs> oh, man, we're popping a cherry here. Ha ha ha. Oh, you're going to love this. All right, check it out. Blood? It's your new rack of lamp, your new champagne, but your new fucking heroin, kid. <laughs> I don't right do heroin, thank you very much. It's never as sweet as the first time. Uh, yeah. What am car, I doing then? As human, or SOB can't find his car. <laughs> and yeah, well, I just walk up to him and say, "Oi, give me your blood, mate." All right. You go down there, casual. You creep up on him, then bear those little fangs and feed. Don't worry if you weren't captain of the wrestling team or something, because it'll come so naturally you think you've done it a thousand times already. Uh, yeah, let's uh, dig into some of the differences in this uh, mythology. I'm using a different word every time, aren't I? I, ca I cannot recall the right word. <laughs> Forget that comic book crap, kid. It don't work that way. Now go for it. Be sure though, and this is important, so listen up. Be sure not to drain them dry, okay? It might be hard to resist, but don't kill them. Let's do this then. Uh, le right hand bar is my amount of blood. Uh, can I not rotate the camera? I was sure I could one way or another. Is it when I'm in combat? No, apparently not. There is a way. I'll remember one day. Uh, I have to feed, yep. And the top bar up there when I'm feeding shows how much blood the person has. And just try not to drain them. I know you're looking forward to your cigarette, mate, but I have needs as well. Now, don't kill him. Good. Nice and full, even with my accidental use of blood heal. Oh, my uh, disciplines are down in the bottom right there, by the way. Blood heal or specs, celerity, presence, blood buff. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Hell yeah, you're feeling it. I can see it in your eyes. You're a born-again predator. 
Feeling that blood bubbling inside you, lifting you up. That's it, kid. Hyperbole much? It's all about right there. <laughs> yeah, I want a cape. I look good in capes. All right, now you got the blood. You're feeling all kick-ass, feeling better than your best day living. But wait, it gets better. But wait, all there's kindred, more. Kindred. That's a our word for vampire. All kindred have a few things in common. Things that set them right square above humans on the food chain. What would those be? Like sharper senses, a body that can take a beating, and if you play your cards right, eternal life. That's no sure bet, but still, a chance at immortality is not a bad deal. And that's just for starters. French benefits for joining the club. What else do we have? Well, you can still be destroyed, but... Forget the books and the movies. Garlic, it's worthless. A cross, pfft, shove it right up their ass. <laughs> a steak, only if it catches you in the heart, and then it just paralyzes you. Running water, eh, that's no problem. I bathe, occasionally. Now, a shotgun blast to the head. Oh, yeah, that'll hurt. Boy. Fire, that's real trouble. Sunlight, well, you catch a sunrise and it's all over, kiddo. Get it? I got it. Okay, now. No idea. You get inside here and head upstairs. You meet up in a bit. I'm just gonna go see what the ruckus is. Uh, yep. Use the door. Uh, yep. Jump up the boxes. Uh, we may be able to see. Wow, this shaky cam, seriously. Um, if I recall, this does resolve itself, like, very soon. So, don't worry about it too much. So, if you see the glowing, glowingness around this lockpick here, uh, that's basically the game's way of highlighting things, if my perception score is high enough to see it. Uh, yeah, what's happening out there, mate? Down here. Stay away from the window. I just walked past the window. Oh, it's a Sabat raid. A Sabat. They're, uh... uh I was hoping to spare you this shit to later. Uh, a Sabat. Well, Do you guys mind not shooting? I'm trying to learn here. Assholes. That's all you need to know for now, right? What's going on? The Sabat got wind of the gathering here, so they figured they'd raise a little hell and put a little heat on the new prince. I don't mind that. He's not my prince. No time for political rundown. Job one, get out of here alive. Sabat might be mindless, but they hit like a Mack truck, like raging savages. Nothing a fledgling like he wants to mess with. Uh, I think in a moment we're going to be treated to some pretty terrible animation. Prepare yourselves. Uh, so what am I doing then? Heads oh, up. here we are. Back away. That is a weird, weird angle. I'm sure that's not actually Don't what anything would look like bastards. through the window. All right, we gotta have a moose out the back quick. I'll stay and keep a watch out. You get us into the office. The door's around the corner here. I'm on it. Uh, quest log is L. So, yeah, the animation in this game isn't great, unfortunately. Uh, but we live with it. It's uh, it's not too terrible. Uh, lock picking. Let's see if I can do this. I I don't actually need to crouch, but gets me down level with the lock. Looks a bit more natural. Hey hey, job done. And Jack came the easy way. Ah, uh, shortcut. Well, nicely done though. Not exactly an angel in life, were you? I believe I was not. Cool. Now, if you want a lesson cool. on how really not to act, 
take notes from those sabat assholes. You're a big bad vampire. Yeah, great, congrats. Now keep it to yourself. You go roar and you beat your chest and that's what you can expect. <laughs> it's the same reason you don't let humans see you feeding. It's why the wolf doesn't want the sheep to know he's there. It's also why you don't go juggling dumpsters or outrun the 815 from Sacramento and it's... Uh, that's exactly what I was going to do. You woke up this morning. I mean, who doesn't want to juggle dumpsters, to be honest? Keep our secret secret and you make things easier on all of us. We're living in the age of cell phone cameras. Fuck-ups ain't tolerated. Makes sense enough, right? Well, it ain't a casual thing for a legend like you. Now, bear in mind, this game was made, I believe, in a time where cell phone cameras weren't actually quite so widespread. I mean, these days, you do something, someone is going to capture it. So, yeah, even more relevant now than it was then. That party back there with the guy in the suit and the Magilla Gorilla? The assholes that put your sire to death? That's the Camarilla. They make a tidy business out of enforcing vampire laws like this one. Um, yeah, let's needle him a bit. I, I know this isn't his opinion. Mm, yeah, I'll tell you what I think some other time, maybe. I like to let people form their own opinions. No, I think we know what your opinion is. So, what are we up to? Alright, now don't worry, because I know the area a little. You know what? I'm glad we're in this situation, you and I. It illustrates a point. You gotta utilize your surroundings. Okay, so what am I doing? You do what you gotta do. Theft, destruction of property, breaking and entering. <laughs> These will be the least of your sins before the night's out. So look I around. I think at least of my sins before the, the night started. Through that magnetically sealed door. And there must be a key someplace. I'll take a look. Uh. So if you see the gun icon at the top of my health bar on the left hand side, that means I am in a combat area. Uh, yep, yeah, cannot lock pick that. Uh, actually what I'm going to do is use my hacking skill first to show you how that works. So access the computer, try to enter this. And if I don't already know the password, I can press Ctrl and C to attempt to hack it, where basically if my hacking skill is high enough, I'll get the password. If it's too low, it'll type in nonsense and I won't be able to enter that part of the system. Uh, so unlock the safe. Uh, let's exit out of here. Uh, escape, that's the one. Uh, the note over here tells you the password so you don't need to do the hacking. This is quite common. Basically, usually in this game there's multiple ways to do something. You can sort of scout around, find the information you need, or there's a hacking way, or there's a lockpicking way, or it's just a pure kill everything way. Unfortunately, later in the game it does get very centred on the needing to kill everything, which is why a pure non-combat character just cannot do well in this game, unfortunately. Uh, saying that, I do know there's a speedrun of this game completed within an hour. Uh, and I believe he didn't use any skill points, didn't upgrade any of his abilities. Um, I'll link it in the, sec in the description below. Uh, I may be slightly wrong, but I know people have completed this game without using any skill points, which is quite an achievement. Uh, that's a key to the stairwell at the back of the room. There we go. Now take that key card and head out the back. I'll meet you out in the alley there. I'm going to check out things from topside. Got it. Uh, inventory is I. Ooh, I have a wallet with nothing. My wallet is empty. Can't even afford to pay attention. The descriptions in this game are sometimes a little amusing. Uh, fists and some clothing, and that's all I have. Light clothing, no armor points. Door, using the pass I just got, head down. What are the chances that Jack isn't already down here? Oh! Or oh, else I get shot in the face. No, the lack of shooting animation. Jack can kick some ass though. I have been wounded. 
uh, yellow bar means aggravated damage takes longer to heal, unfortunately. Gun disappears, of course. I'm not allowed one yet. Fucking waste of unlife, these Sabat Vatos. You get winged? Hey, hey! Look at them potholes! Those will close up soon enough. Better feed, though. <laughs> There's someone down the stairs here. It's not the freshest catch, but it'll do. Yeah, what's the difference? Well, when it comes to feeding, it's quality blood you're looking for, not the quantity. Bums and lowlife don't pack the same punch that a healthy, well-bred human will. Juice bags with a pedigree. That's the good stuff. But you gotta take what you can get. You ever had a PhD, kid? I have a That's PhD. It's not what he means, though. Remember what I said, though. Don't kill them. At least not the innocent ones. You're a monster now. Make no mistake. One of the damned and the fallen. You need to hold on to every last shred of humanity you have. So what happens if I kill someone? An innocent's an innocent. You kill one, even a worthless bum, even by accident, and it's gonna cost you a piece of your own humanity. Bring you closer to that beast you got welling up inside you. And um, what is the beast? Beast? It's always there, waiting to take over. When it does, it's like a wild animal wearing your skin. Desperate, scared, reckless. He'll do anything to survive, and it's you that has to deal with the consequences. Yeah, I mean, if I'm not allowed to kill anyone, that's going to get pretty bad for me. I, 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 I said innocent humans. If some asshole levels a 12 gauge your way, you drain him, skin him, and bash in his skull. Self preservation is a vital part of humanity, after all. My favorite part, in fact. <laughs> that is a weird expression, guy. Um, you need to talk to your animators because I think your face might be about to fall off. <laughs> The only way to fight the beast is to keep in touch with your humanity and don't go hungry. It's a fine line. Got it. All right, now go feed. Careful though. He's going to drain fast. I know there are certain uh just general people in public, uh downtown especially. There are women wearing fancy dresses that have huge amounts of blood points you can pull from them. Crap nipple this and crap nipple that and crap nipple. Um, crap nipple. Oh crab nipple. Crab nipple. What the <laughs> Gimme a blood guy, you're making no sense. So drinking heals you as well as filling up your blood points, so it's very, very handy, and I just heard a Molotov being thrown. Not quite as good, huh? Yeah, you could do worse. There's some rats down the way. You think I'm kidding? You can survive feeding on animals if you can stomach that kind of thing. Can it be much worse? I have an option here of just continuing on if I talk to him again, but let's go look at the rats. Uh, there's something I want to try out, which I haven't actually done before. So, normally when you feed on a rat... It takes quite a while just for the single blood point, but I have heard that you can cancel it immediately, and because you always take the first blood point regardless, it's going to be pretty quick, so let's try that. Yeah, that was actually a lot quicker, wasn't it? Nice. I mean, it's not hugely quicker, but when you're going through a lot of them in a sewer system, that's going to add up quickly. <laughs> you rat sucker! <laughs> hey, I don't care what you do, but just so you know, Polite vampire society looks down on that kind of thing. Uh, just uh, as a point of interest, I believe uh, the Tremere? No, not the Tremere, the other guys. Ah, uh, sorry, my... The, the businessy guys, my mind has gone completely blank. Sorry about that. Uh, they can't actually feed from rats, it is below them. Let's be honest, I'm surprised Toreadors can, given their Obsession with image. Um, yeah, my my character's not going to like eating them. Got someone around the way here. One guy. Not too much of a threat by himself, but you never know if there's more in shouting range. You're gonna have to sneak past. Where am I going? The building across from us with the garage door. There's some double doors on the far side. 
I'll meet you inside. Just stay low and stick to the shadows. And don't let him see you. I'll give it a go. All right, go. Okay, so I am going to end this episode here. It's a nice convenient point before we get into the combat portion of the tutorial. Uh, so, if you like the video, hit like. If you want to see more of this, hit subscribe. Um, the standard deal, you know how it works on YouTube. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.